All right, hi everybody, thanks for watching. John Meadows here, still in Australia with my man Eugene. And if some of you are having trouble feeling your back, we're gonna walk through how we, how we can fix that, how we can improve that. Uh, you, those of you who follow me, you know that I've had trouble developing my back for many, many years. It's better now, but, so I really love hearing this stuff. Back can often be very, very difficult to kind of activate and feel. So what are we doing today? So we're gonna start with, again, just kind of stimulate that mind-muscle connection to the lats. Again, as you know, my big belief is if you can't feel and cramp a muscle and create that intramuscular tension without any weights at all, then there's no point doing more movements. There's no point adding in more exercises. There's no point trying to lift up the weights. Because if you start doing that, where's the weight gonna go? Probably not to your lats. If you're lucky, if you do five or six or ten different exercises, you might get a very, very light lap pump. But we want to create that pump from the very, very first rep and the very, very first set. And that starts with having an internal focus in your, in your nervous system to create that effect on the lats. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at lats. So, the question we're going to ask is, what do the lats do on the body? If you want to spin around, John, your lats, they're responsible for taking your scapula, your shoulder blade, and for pulling it back towards the spine, and for pulling it down towards the hip. That's the, that's the first function of it. The lats are also responsible for extending, come just side on for me, John. The lats are also responsible for extending the shoulder joint behind you. So here is flexion uh, from the side to the front, and here is extension. The lats also contribute to what's called internal rotation, where your arm rolls in. So we'll get to that in a sec. The last thing the lats do, as well as lifting the spine and the chest up, is they also bend the body to the side slightly. They do a degree of what's called lateral flexion, like a side bend. So we're gonna put all that together. So bring your arm up above yourself, John. Here is how you create that body weight, mind-muscle connection with the lats. First thing you want to do is retract and depress. So pull your shoulder blade back and down towards that opposite hip. Then you want to you want to extend the shoulder joint, bring it down to your side. And you already feel that. Yeah, you feel like a, a strong contraction, like a cramp. Now that's cramping already, like an eight out of ten. I want to make that ten, or I want to make that eleven out of ten. So what we're going to do here is start to rotate out into external rotation bend that elbow and crank it out even more while we're still dropping this down. And what that's doing is spin just to the back for me. All these muscles are pulled tight. By pulling that around, we are pulling everything taut. And we are really cramping into that lat. Now the more John bends down to the side, how does that feel? Nasty, yeah? Like that's disgusting, that's a pain face right there. That's what we're going for. I want him to create that contraction and keep pulling in and cranking that out as much as he can whilst rotating. Talking out of 10, what kind of contraction is that? That's, that's pretty that's good. That's nasty, that's nasty. So what does that mean? Like on its own, can you, can you sit down at home and do that all day and grow your lats? No you can't, that's gonna do nothing for you. But it's the first step. What we want to do is create that internal focus, that mind to muscle connection into the lats. The next step is to start to integrate that and take all those cues that I just put John through and try to use it on exercises. So let's look at the seated row over here. Have a seat, John. So now we've got some we've got some cues to start working with. Instead of just thinking about pulling in that with that bar. What I want John to think about the entire time is dropping everything down. He wants to drop his shoulders, pull his shoulder blades back and down. And he's not just gonna row in passively, he's gonna think about extending and dropping and dropping this to extend that shoulder joint as he rows. So go through that point. Drop down and he's thinking, what he's thinking about is scraping this along the top of his thighs. He's trying to drop. It's not just a row, it's almost a stiff arm pull down to really cramp those lower lap fibers to get that nasty contraction right here in the belly of the lats. Squeeze that. 
Now the final part, when he gets back and, and holds in that position, what he should be thinking about is just like that position, we're trying to break that bar. We're trying to pull through the pinky and the ring finger and this knife edge of the hand and snap everything around, which will pull that elbow into the side of his lats. How's that feeling? Good. Nasty. Go through a few more reps. Pull in, break. Pinky, ring finger, knife edge of the hand. That's your focus. Get those elbows in as tight as you can and cramp that lat. All right, chuck that down. <clears throat> All right, so how like how much of this do you do before you start your back workout? Is it just one time or two or three or four? What do you think? All right, so what we're looking at there, that little body weight movement there, I'll spend as long as I need to create that mind muscle connection. So, so literally, it's, so it's not like repetition, just until you feel it. Yeah, so I can't tell you to do three sets of ten because those three sets of ten could be completely junky. It could just be one rep. Just do it once be like, oh, that's what it feels like. What's more important is not just thinking about that motion and having to do it for a certain duration or a certain number of reps, is to take that motion and think about it whenever you're doing all of your exercises. Whether you're doing a barbell row with a pronated grip, whether you're doing a lap pull down with a neutral grip, whether you're doing a cable row, whether you're doing a deadlift, you still want to think about all of those same cues dropping the shoulder down, lifting the pecs, shoulder blades coming back and down. You want to think about rotating around and pulling through the knife edge of the hands, the pinky and the ring finger. That's your lat grip to rotate everything in. So again, it's not just, let's just do the start of the workout. This is your internal focus through all of your back exercises to give you the ultimate mind-muscle connection to your lats and whatever you do. All right, there you go guys, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Comment below. Thanks. See you next time.